A front row seat at the Gabba. Many of these kids have never seen a game live, let alone lacing up and running out to play before a packed stadium. They're following in the footsteps of Indigenous players they've come to idolise. The privilege isn't lost on the Lions, Charlie Cameron and Callum Achee. For young Indigenous kids uh, to see Aboriginal faces on the TV is pretty special. So too this trip to Brisbane, around 260 kilometres from their hometown of Cherbourg. The Lions recently visited the small Indigenous community and introduced the children to AFL. When you look at the skills of Indigenous boys and girls, they can, they can adapt quickly. But the clinic and road trip was more so a reward for recent behaviour. Our criteria was for students who hadn't been suspended multiple times and who have a 75-80% um, regular attendance for the term that they could attend. It's Frank Malone's role at the school to nurture this kind of positive behaviour and make it a habit. The Lions players are a perfect example of what they can achieve. That's what we keep telling the children, to try, to be the best. Uh, you know, Charlie has done that. In a community like Sherberg in Queensland, most kids are born and bred on rugby league, but the code is redundant. This program is about inspiring the children and giving them a goal to work towards. We've seen a couple of kids who've really you know, reflected on it and they've really worked hard towards it, which is great to see them achieving that. Around 10% of players in the AFL at the moment are Indigenous or Torres Strait Islander. I had a lot of Indigenous players that I looked up to and um, I still do. They're only just starting out, but maybe one day these kids could be among them. Brittany Klein, ABC News, Sherberg.